Hi there, my name is Alia Sela, and I am the founder of Psychic Inspiration Academy. And I love to teach people astrology, especially there's so many wonderful intuitive empaths out there that want to learn so that they can make better choices in their lives and perhaps use it as a way to counsel with others, their loved ones, or even make it a career. So that's something I would love to offer you. And I offer readings. I also offer wellness consulting. And I have a follow-up that I do with whatever comes up in the reading. I have all kinds of exercises from the Transparenting Tarot and Transparenting.net website that it's just all the stuff that's come up after 35 years of doing this. There were times where I just knew a certain exercise would help somebody move through stuff. And so I just collected and now I have quite a bit of those. So I have lots of different options. If something comes up in a reading, I have something that can follow up with what came up and help them to heal it. So one of the main things I've developed is called Bach. And it's brave, authentic child healing. It's something that it just came to me uh, and helped me to heal so much of my own um, trauma of my childhood. And now I'm helping other people to do it as well as part of readings, if that's what comes up and needed. So that's something that I offer. And I also offer a insight into three things because for me, astrology is really mainly good for three things. The first one is timing. The second one is relationship chemistry or alchemy, if you know each other well. And the third is soul growth. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about here. I'm going to be talking about how you have an amazing insight already inside of you because you're an intuitive, empathic person, or you wouldn't be listening to a talk on astrology. So I honor that. And I'm looking for amazing people to help them with these tools so that they can go and help other people with these tools. So the first one, as I said, was timing. And that's because the celestial you know, clock is really what we're studying. It is a big clock. And so there are certain things that come up for people at every age. Uh, there's certain types of uh, things that happen universally to everyone. Like for instance, Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion. And it's also can be overindulgence if you go too far, because in the way that I see astrology, no planet is good or bad. No sign or, is good or bad. No aspect is good or bad. They both have the expansion and the contraction aspects of what they have to offer. So when we look at Jupiter, it's a 12-year cycle. So that means it goes back to the place where you were born at 12. And that's the puberty thing. It happens at 12. So that's Jupiter is the first one is puberty. 24 is when you think you can do anything. <laughs> it's a wonderful time. And unfortunately, a lot of people have goals for turning 25. And then when they don't do that, then they're really kind of upset that they don't know what to do with their lives because they didn't accomplish all that they wanted to before they were 25. So what's happening, though, is you're inching your way down the line to your Saturn return, which happens about 29 you know, sometimes 28, 30, around that time. And in our culture, turning 30 has always meant, okay, you're an adult now. So it's very similar to the astrological understanding of this cycle. Saturn is a planet of responsibility and karma. And some people, they will go around and they'll still be in their 30s and they're like, yeah, they did it to me. It was because this happened and they're not taking any responsibility for what's happened to them. Now, sometimes really bad things happen to us and it's not our fault at all, but how we respond to it, that's our responsibility. So 
I think that what I found so important here is that astrology teaches us it's like a lesson plan and it can show you how you are responding to the same aspects differently throughout your life because we're always growing. I kind of see it as like octaves in music, you know, you might be on the lower octaves at the beginning, but you keep growing and then you see things and you, as you get lighter, it gets higher vibrationally. So here we are understanding that astrology is a clock, that astrology helps us with timing, and that we have these things in our lives that are universal, like everyone turns 35 and 36, you know, which is a square past the Saturn return, but it's also your third Jupiter return. So that means it can be a square past Saturn if you didn't really do your Saturn return that well, because you blamed everybody else and you didn't take responsibility. At 36, you're going to have something that really comes to you that makes you have to see that. Or if you really did, you're going to have a big reward at that time because it's your third Jupiter return. So that's the kind of thing that is true for everyone to a certain extent. So I love to teach people these archetypal forms that have, you know, understanding for everyone in astrology. But then there's understanding your individual chart and your individual timing. And that's only by studying your own chart can you understand that. So that's something that I love to help people to learn their charts. It's really wonderful to know your chart. And in fact, I teach people how to act out their charts so that you can be in a dinner party and you can act out your chart in like five minutes. Boom. And um, it's very helpful if you're getting to know somebody, if they know their chart too. And so I would love to have evenings where we act out charts and workshops and even a place in time where we um, show people as astrology, like living astrology performances, you know, that can go in many different directions. I also do astral bead necklaces to teach people their charts. But if you know your own chart, you really begin to understand the cycles that are happening in your life and how to get the best situation for yourself so it helps you make better decisions if you know what the timing is for you and you know what cycle you're in and what cycle you're going towards so that's very important is timing the other part would be you know spiritual relationships are spiritual you know alchemy and this um alchemy in relationships is how we can bring out the best in each other and how do we understand what it is that somebody is doing if it's really something that they do that bugs you why what what's going on here you know is it something that's yours is it something that they do that they're unconscious about and after you learn astrology you begin to see like oh my god that's in their chart they're not just doing that to bug me so it can be very helpful in relationships to understand some of the chemistry that you guys have back and forth and how you affect each other on that visceral level that's kind of subtle that's one thing that astrology is good for. The relationship alchemy uh, is if you really want to grow together and have a shared vision, then you really start growing and um, your astrological chart, uh, the things that really bugged you late earlier in your relationship can be actually really wonderful things. Uh, for, for instance, in my partner's chart, we have opposite Mercury. So I say tomato, he says tomato. And we always kind of had this banter going on. It used to really bother me. But over the years, I began to understand that he thinks differently than me. And this is a wonderful thing. And so I was able to bring him things that I needed him to edit, legal stuff or, you know, more um, official things that he was really eloquent with. And so whereas, the, you know, opposite Mercury, Mercury, the planet of communication meant that we were always kind of, you know, just saying things differently, but it's the same thing, but not really kind of hitting it off we grew to understand that that was what was happening. And therefore we used, you know, this, you know, thing that could be a negative thing in a really positive way in our relationship. So that's another thing that astrology can really help you with. And now the third thing, soul growth. Your astrological chart is a lesson plan that tells you what you've come to do this lifetime on a deep level 
And with the joy whispering images that I get, I can help direct you um, to what it is that will truly be fulfilling for you. And um, I don't come up with it, but I help with leading questions so that you can find what it is if you don't know it yet, or perhaps you do know it and it's just a wonderful confirmation, or perhaps there's new things in it that you need to add uh, that are other things. Like for instance, I've had clients that were like, I don't know what I want to do. I mean, I love working with horses and that's what I want to do. And then they go, but actually I really, I want to work with kids, you know, and then down the line, she said, oh, but I really want to do photography. That's what I want to do. And I would go, well, the central correlative is the thing that we're looking for. So I said, how about you have a class where you teach horseback riding to kids and take pictures of them on their horses? (laughs) And so it's like, oh my gosh, that's so perfect. And so I, that way you're not fighting with, oh, I want to do this, but I want to do that. Instead, you can find a central correlative that brings all the things you do together into a unified service, a unified shared vision that you can offer the world. So that's the thing about soul growth is that there's many ways to grow our soul and relationships help you know, and, and experiences help and, and knowing what it is that we are attracted to and having the faith to go for it. Um, I think that there's something that I found that a lot of people have made, maybe have blind faith, you know, they just have faith because they believe and there's nothing wrong with that. I've found that um, something I've developed over the years, I call wise faith. And wise faith is when something comes to you and it's like terrible. And you're like, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. And then it turns out to be wonderful because you work through it, you grow and you find out that it was something that you're really grateful came into your life. So then something comes in, it's like, this is exactly what I want. And oh my gosh, it's comes with something else that you don't want at all. And you realize, no, actually, this is not what I want. And then you're like, well, maybe I don't know. Maybe whatever shows up is exactly what I'm supposed to be working on. And maybe it's, you know, just how I respond to it and how I make the best of it. So I call this wise faith. And that's one of the things I teach my clients And with all the follow-up that I have after readings, there's a lot of tools that I can offer. I also do transparenting tarot. I've made my own tarot deck. And that's something else that I can offer that I combine with I Ching. And um, it's a wonderful way to see an overview for a question or um, more clarity in a direction. And um, it can be very helpful to understand how the wise person would go about that with the I Ching. So that's why I I use them together. So I I hope that this is something that has been um, a great understanding that that you are an intuitive, you are an empath, you are have, you know, so many gifts as in the psychic realm. And I would love to help you to make that into some businesses tools that you can use to offer the world in these readings because knowing how to do the readings is one thing like you know what does all the different symbols mean and how does it get together there's a whole nother other part to readings what is a person able to hear at this time what do they need to hear at this time and what do they not need to hear at this time so There's a whole other aspect to be a reader that is something that I teach as well so that you can be of service to people in their times of need and help to direct them to their own intuition and their own guides and allow God to work through their lives and you to support that and hold that space for them to see the amazing gifts that they have to offer this world and the incredible person that they are in so many ways unique and yet part of this collective 
of this planet. We're all moving towards evolving into, you know, 5D, they call it, you know, but it's just into a world where we help one another and where we use what I call co-creative communications to work things out. Co-creative communications is really simple. It just means that with everything you say, you say, we're in it together and we're going to work things out. That's co-creative communications. Well, blessings to you and thank you for coming to my channel and seeing what Psychic Inspiration Academy has to offer. I'm going to be giving more and more of these videos to you as time goes on here. And I'd love to hear from you, hear what it is that you'd like to hear about with astrology, tarot, life, you know, direction, tools, and what it is that you would like to offer the world. I'd be more than happy to see how I can be of service to you and your growth, because the more we help each other, the better our world's going to be. Blessings to you and have a wonderful, wonderful day and, and know that all kinds of magical things can happen to you when you're open to being magical. Blessings. Peace.